So your brain is precious. And the reason that you come to university is to make your brain bigger and better and cleverer. Now there's a way of doing this, which is by thinking. And university is about thinking and thought. There are also lots of ways of making your brain smaller, diminishing its ability to think. You've probably heard that your brain is a muscle. It's not really a muscle, is it? It looks quite different from a muscle. But the idea is that if you exercise a muscle, it gets bigger. And if you exercise your brain, your brain doesn't necessarily get any bigger because it's encased within your skull. But it may get stronger. Now, when we're in a lecture, you can imagine that your brain is at work and that you're learning things. Now, if you were going to a gym to improve a muscle, and when you got to the gym, all you found was easy chairs, TVs, donuts, you'd be thinking to yourself, this is not a good gym. This is not going to make my muscles stronger. So, when you come to university, you've come to the gym for brains. The gym for brains. What's the best way to learn in a lecture? You may think that your computer is your best friend because everything that the lecturer says can go straight into your keyboard and onto your screen and you can take it home as if it was in your brain. But your computer is not the same as your brain. You may have noticed this. Your brain does things which you don't want it to do, like thinking about things all night instead of sleeping, whereas your computer can be turned off. So when you're in a lecture, you can type everything that the lecturer says, touch typing into your computer, but it doesn't go into your brain. In fact, it bypasses your brain completely. And so it goes from your lecturer's brain, which is very big, but turned out a bit wrong in that drawing. And it bypasses your brain and goes into your computer. And then when you're in your exam and you don't have your computer and you think, what did my lecturer say? All the information is in your computer and not where it should be, in your brain. You can get around this by being in your lecture, listening to your lecturer and using this old fashioned thing called a pencil and writing it down. Because writing is a better way of learning than typing. And there are studies showing this to be the case. So in a lecture, the first time you hear the lecture, you may want to just listen. And then you may want to write notes at some point. But if you write notes using a pen and a piece of paper, you'll remember those notes better than if you write the notes, touch typing everything that was said. There's another reason not to use your computer. And that reason is, Whoa! There's another reason not to use a computer, and that reason is because of things like Facebook. If you're using your computer and you're writing down the notes, there is a tendency to get Facebook alerts, email, Twitter, and etc. That's not an app. And when you get them, your brain says, let's do something else. And when you do something else, you're switching tasks or multitasking. And this is the brain of a multitasker, shriveled and not very well. This is the brain of someone who concentrates on one thing at a time, happy. So multitasking is bad for your brain. So when you're in a lecture and you have your blue computer, with the apple and you think you're pretty flash, remember it's not doing you any good and it's also not doing any good to the people sitting next to you who are distracted by your computer 
and the things that are going on on your computer. And the learning of the bystander can go down by as much as 17% just by sitting next to someone who's using a computer in a class. So your multitasking is not doing you any good and it's not doing anyone around you any good. And the last thing is using a computer versus writing handwritten notes creates a discrepancy in the final marks of a randomized control trial, which is the equivalent of a high school student hiring a tutor. Okay, that's the difference between using a computer or using a pen is the difference between hiring a tutor or not hiring a tutor. You can do as you wish, but remember, you will be learning better without your touch typing in the notes and the people around you will be learning better 